In this one, we've got a 314 matchup here in the Midwest region. Remember, that's the top right hand side of your bracket. We've got the number three seed Xavier Musketeers and the number 14 seed Kennesaw State Owls in this one. Firstly, for the Xavier Musketeers, here as a two seed, great season for them. 25 and 9 overall, second in Big East play. This team is terrific from an offensive perspective. They're ninth in offensive efficiency in the entire nation. They shoot 39.5% from three as a team. That is incredible. Third best in the nation. Xavier has a lot of snipers from the outside. This team also moves the ball really well. Seventh highest assist rate in the nation as well. A terrific backcourt duo for this team in Sule Boom and, of course, Colby Jones, the nice backcourt duo. The two of them combine for nearly 30 points per game. Three players on this team average more than 14 a game. An incredibly diverse offense for Xavier. The problems come for Xavier on the defensive side of the basketball. They're pretty average on the defensive end, especially guarding the three ball. They allow 36% from three for their opponents. This is definitely below average, ranks them in the 200s in this category. Below average for Xavier in this regard. My biggest question for this Xavier team is they've been suspect against really quality big men, and they're going to see some later on in this tournament. They struggled against really quality big men, and of course, Drew Timmy and Gonzaga when they played them earlier in the year, and Trace Jackson Davis from Indiana as well. I don't think that's going to be a problem for them in this game, but it's something to think about. For the Kennesaw State Owls, they come in as a 14 seed in this one. 26 and 8 overall. They're the Atlantic Sun champions this year. Kennesaw State pretty average on both the offensive and defensive side. What they do well offensively is they hit threes at a high rate, 37% as a team. For the Owls, this is really solid. They don't take a ton of them, but they hit a really solid percentage. They're probably going to need to take a lot of them in this game to stay in it. Defensively, this team has struggled as well throughout the year. Their paint defense and their two-point defense have struggled. Also, they put teams at the free throw line a lot, which is a problem, especially against this big Xavier team that can get to the rim at will and moves the ball really well. I'm pretty concerned about this Kennesaw State team. I think they're going to put Xavier on the free throw line a lot. My question for this Owl squad is, can they hit 10 threes in a game? And that's what it's going to take for them to beat Xavier. That and quality defense. This is going to be a tall task for them in this game. I know the Owls are good three-point shooters, but they usually don't take it at that high of a volume. I think this is going to be probably not the best game of the first round, probably not even close. If I had to put this on the upset spectrum, I would say that this is a not likely upset. I really like Xavier in this one. I think they're going to move the ball, get good shots, get to the foul line quite a bit on a team that fouls a lot. And in the end, I think it's going to be the Xavier Musketeers who pull this one off, get the victory, and move on to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Do you want to win your March Madness bracket pool? Do you want to not only beat your friends, but humiliate them? If that sounds good to you, subscribe down below because we are previewing all 36 first round games of the NCAA tournament and give you the info you need to crush your friends and dominate your bracket pool.